Welcome to Melt Magazine's exclusive interview with Australia's best-selling author, Rosalie Hem. Up to date, she has written three novels, Summer at Mount Hope, There Should Be More Dancing, and The Dressmaker, which we will be focusing on today. The Dressmaker has acclaimed numerous awards and is making its way onto the big screen. Hi, I'm Clara. And today, we are very glad to have Rosalie Hem, who is the best-selling author of The Dressmaker. Welcome, Rosalie. Thank you. Please tell us more about the book. Uh, the Dressmaker was my first novel, and I wrote it, uh, started writing it in 1996, and it was published in the year 2000. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a revenge comedy, and it's set in a small country town in about 19... 50 and um, it's about a girl who comes back to a small country town where she was born and raised and the people had been very mean to her when she was a girl and so she exacts her revenge upon them does mean things to them but it's funny yeah so have you imagined your novel being made into a movie i i didn't when i first wrote it i i didn't at all um but then it was optioned by a filmmaker fairly soon after it came out. But uh, I've had a couple of filmmakers on board and now it's about to, it's, it will be made into a film in October. So yeah, I'm happy to um, fantasize about that now that it's going to be real. So what do you think of the entire cast? So far the cast is very good. I'm very happy with the cast. I'm, I'm, not, I'm more than happy with the cast. I think it's amazing. Um, they've got Kate Winslet playing the lead role, and I don't know if you know Judy Davis. Yeah, we do. Okay, well she's the she plays the mother of uh -huh. um, Kate Winslet, and then we've got Liam Hemsworth, which is apparently a very exciting thing. I didn't actually know who he was, but then I looked at him on the internet, and I thought he will do. He will be fine. So, is there any message you would love to tell aspiring authors or journalists? Yes, it doesn't pay much. You only get two dollars a book, ten percent. Uh, it takes a very long time. You have to be tenacious uh, and disciplined, and you've just got to sit there until you finish. I think most people could write a book, but I think most people couldn't sit in a room on their own for four to five years. That's that's the sticking point. And getting to the point where you think, oh yes this is good and then but what am I going to do next what am I going to write next and then people stop there because they can't be bothered but you've got to sit there till you know what you're going to write next 